Hi, in our previous session, we learned on how to create a similar assets with the same description. So now I would like to show you on how to create the similar assets three, three similar assets. So here I'd like to show you furniture. Furniture, I should say. Uh, chair furniture one I just maintain like that then just go cost center I'm not maintaining and uh, going through all these uh, tabs either but yes you can have these are all same classification um, here so the same ordinary depreciation start date So now you click on save. So while doing this, in our previous session, what we learned here is we use this option to create. So now we are not doing going with this option. So we are going with the option to create, maintain. So we are going to use this maintain option and then see how the system is behaving for creating the asset so click on maintain you see it's it's quite it's, it's not really difficult for you if even you have a, a, a different information right so you see it's simply showing in the in the pop-up screen here is only certain fields so you can have a different cost center for the similar asset or you can have a same cost center and you can have a different reporting um, evolution groups if you're following here so this is how you can choose so what I do here is I would like to maintain the only information um, here is additional information I'm going to maintain here is this and also some of these fields I'm going to use for my reporting purpose so these are all fields are very important when you're doing reporting and you can call the the assets belongs to the same criteria for the purpose of reporting so here I just change two. this is number three so now one two three furniture and evolution group here I would like to say this is a this is one is for east another one is for west and another one is used across different areas so here this is a planned acquisition and this is also planned acquisition and the another one is unplanned yeah so you you, you can have a different criteria and and use these these are this is not going to affect any depreciation or anything but it's only purely for a reporting so I just don't want to uh, choose anything here so here eligible for bonus depreciation not eligible for so I don't want to um, maintain all this just for our reporting so you see now so you can have inventory numbers a different inventory numbers so if you have any inventory number following each asset must be maintained with the inventory number this is a part of a audit requirements in any organization um, any listed company organization so it can be an internal audit or external audit and this is a mandatory information so now click OK so we, we, once we click OK then the information is actually maintained so you want to go back you see this is showing here so now after you maintain so you just what you did you maintain the information now you click on create the system is created if you see the screen here so the system is actually created again the assets from 3 0004 
to 006. So now I would like to go to show in the display mode to display the asset. You can go to the path accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets, asset, display and S03. So now I would like to see here. You see, this is the beauty of, of uh, creating asset here. So the first one what we did, if you see here, the first one when you're creating the asset, the system is used the information or description what you maintained. But this one is actually the system is followed here. The same description followed and the same information for the asset. Thank you guys. So this is how um, you can display the assets here and uh, you can see the information. So in the next lecture, so let's see how to do the posting to the assets. Thank you.